Hey Rat Bags, it's Jade. Today I'm going to show you how to get tons of gum for your holiday trees. The update, a holiday treat, is coming out very, very soon. It's been in testing on the public test branch, which you can opt into on Xbox via the Xbox Insider app, or go ahead and choose it out betas. Anywho, I've shown this off in a short, but really, I'm telling you now, even if you're a new player, think about a way that you can get hold of a black ant shovel and go and get some of the gum that you're going to need to craft some of these trees. If you can get a farm going up with as many of these as possible, you'll be gathering so much candy. And trust me, long time players will tell you that is definitely something you want to get hold of as much as possible. Of course, not only that, you do have a chance of picking up coal, which is even more valuable in early game. Now it's not going to be easy, if you literally have only been playing grounded for the first couple of days ever, then don't bother too much with this. But if you've got a little bit of experience, you just may be about to start going exploring other parts of the yard, particularly where the black ants live towards the southwest, then absolutely try and get a shovel. Obviously the trees themselves, they cost one piece of gum, one slime stalk, which you should be able to find plenty of in caves, and then of course it's going to also need an oak piece and a red ant part. This is really a treat for longer time players that'll have a lot of these resources left over or can go and get some of this stuff easily. But don't forget the resource scanner will show you exactly where the gum nuggets are. But there's a few things you need to know and some tips. During the day, you'll be able to see the glint of the chest. This is where you're gonna find at least one piece of gum usually in these chests in the sandbox. But at nighttime, you can't really see that glint. So instead you have to rely on your scanner. Then simply put a waypoint on the nearest one and then go and grab it that way. It does mean you can explore the sandbox without having to put on your sandbox gear, the antlion armor, if you don't really want to. And another great way that maybe slightly early game players can get hold of some of this stuff. But of course it will be difficult with all the creatures around. If you've got the sunken outpost burgle chip from underneath in the pond, you should have access to the splatburst bombs. These versions can actually blow up some of the gum if you land directly on it. I have tried jumping or dropping a few just regular bombs near some gum, but often the gum is high enough that the actual explosive damage won't do any damage to it. And to be honest, I just don't think it works, as when I tried dropping one directly on the gum, it didn't seem to do much to it. But go ahead and throw a sticky splat burst on it, and boom, you've got easy quick gum. Late game players, you'll know you can get explosive arrows from getting the key from the piece of gum hidden in the gum in one of the brick walls near the very edge of the upper yard. And of course, you go to the tire, unlock the chest, and then bam, you've got explosive arrows. These can also be used to great effect to pick up gum. Just might take you a little bit of a while to go and hunt them on the floor eventually. And the last hack, I guess, is even with your tier two shovel, the black ant shovel, don't forget you can jump up and attack and you'll still be able to go ahead and do damage. Sadly, you can't throw the shovel like you can with the hammer against the sap nodes. Don't know if you knew that, but that is a way that you can crack sap nodes. But with the bubble gum, it doesn't work. You do have to dig it out, but you can still jump and dig. Just click attack and then jump and you should be able to get the nugget eventually. You're usually guaranteed at least four pieces inside the sandbox and at least four, maybe even five pieces underneath the decking at the back of the haze. Just make sure you're looking towards the ceiling. You can find some gum in the upper yard locations and some also near the termite nest, it's particularly around the BMX bicycle wheels. But yeah, that's pretty much a quick guide. Like I said, use the resource scanner to good effect. Also don't forget, of course, you've got to buy the actual holiday treat tree. You need to spend 500 raw science in the burgle shop as soon as the update goes live to go ahead and be able to craft it. The holiday tree update will most likely run right until the very end of December, maybe even the first week of January. If you manage to collect 20 pieces of gum a day, and don't forget it takes around four days to respawn in some of them chests or different locations. Although there is one exception as well. If you're about to explore the Black Ant Hill, you should find a ton of gum in there, but that stuff never respawns. In between, make sure you've got plenty of the ant parts, oak pieces, and of course the slime mold stalks, and you could easily get yourself a hundred trees. That's a lot of effort, Jade. Why am I doing that much? As I said, spawning that actual candies every day, at least one of them for the rest of the month, that's still a massive bonus. You're potentially looking at hundreds of candies to rely on, rather than having to go and actually dig them all up or find them all around the yard, and particularly the coal pieces. Even a one in four chance means you could have at least 20 to maybe 50 pieces. 
It's certainly at least worth getting as many trees as you can in the space of a few days, so that usually means getting gum, as that's the hardest one to get hold of. Keep an eye on your tree farm, get tons of candy, and have a Merry Christmas. If anything changes, the devs decide to nerf how many pieces you can get off to find out there is any kind of limit, I'll let you know. But in my testing, it does look like it just spawns a new piece every single day. So get as many trees as you can right now. Until next time, Rat Bags, I'll be back with more looks at all the other new stuff, and then I'll see you later.